Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally going to go over the 1969 Corvette standing behind me. Um, this car has always been something of my dreams. I'm um, going back to when I was a little kid building models because it had the chrome bumpers on it and I can't say what really got me into the Corvette, but um, it's just something that started my journey as an auto enthusiast. Um, I'll go into detail with some little flaws, where I came from with where the car started to where it is now and what needs to be done to get it back on the road, but essentially there's a small front end impact here. And then when I picked up this car, um, it was in rough shape, and you can see from the pictures here, um, it did have that small front end damage that I've been referring to, but um, the extent of the issues uh, wasn't really revealed to me until I got a box of parts. I was still missing a lot of parts. Um, other than that, it ran, it drove, it stopped. Um, and because a lot of these cars can go for such a huge amount of money, um, I really didn't have it. Uh, I got it for about $3,000 off of Craigslist up here um, from someone just over the border in Pennsylvania. Um, a lot needed to be done to it, and a lot still needs to be done to it. If you're looking to get into this era of Corvettes going from 1968 all the way up until 1982. Um, 14 year span, it's called the Corvette C3. Um, now the chrome bumpers were only from 1968 to 1972 and then there was only rear chrome bumpers in 1973. Follow along as I walk through this car and the different challenges, the different projects we have to get this going, and the different parts that I've already acquired. Um, the first step is going to be fixing the fender behind me and fiberglassing the rest of the repair here. And then we're gonna go into um, actually paint, bodywork, uh, just finishing up that, and obviously bodywork before paint, and then a whole new interior and with a little bit of patching. After that, we should be ready. To Where we are right now is there's a lot of really busted parts. Like there was a front end accident um, at some point, just pretty minor, frame straight and everything. Um, but it but it hit this part. So what I've been doing um, before starting the channel and everything was uh, I took off this um, this quarter panel here. Uh, that quarter panel, uh, I have a replacement one, which is right here uh, under all of the other parts. And also that one part that you saw in the front, this is what we're gonna have um, to cut out over here. Now, how these Corvettes work is they're all fiberglass and they bond to these strips here and then these bonding strips here. So what we need to do, and I've sanded down most of it pretty good um, to this part, but we'll need to finish sanding, um, remove like some of the stuff here and there. Um, and then I've got panel bond and we'll panel bond the new one up. After we do that, then we'll cut out this section so we can keep the body, um, like where, where everything is placed and, and whatnot uh, as best we can. And then what we'll do from there is uh, we're just gonna cut out you can see I kind of made some marks here with X's, cut out less than what the replacement piece is, we'll sand it, and then we'll we'll fiberglass it together. Now, um, one thing, and I'll turn the light on here, that we've done already is uh, over here. Now, I'll show pictures of what it was like before, but there was another crack here. Um, apparently this car was a father-son project, wasn't going anywhere, and the son got older. Was looking to clear out his garage, and and this was the one project that that got the axe. Um, one thing you can see here, just quick note, is this is the uh, the the the, bo um, the bonding strip. Excuse me, that um, we're gonna have to look at over there. Um, but over here. I mean, this car was used for learning manual transmission and, and so on and so forth. 
but um, there was a crack here and I fiberglassed it in, sanded it down, block sanded it, everything. Um, and it looks pretty good. What we're gonna do is just get a real light layer of filler, sand it down, and, and we should be good on here. The next thing we have to do is fix some of these pieces, right? Um, where there's, they soda blasted the fiberglass to get the paint off. What they did is either use the wrong media or something else and have these these holes um, in it in different places. So we're gonna have to glass in different parts. There's one piece down here I still have to do, um, one piece right here. This is, and what I'll do is I'll show in the video like how I fiberglass this in. Um, but there's other little spots all over the car. So we're gonna get to that. Um, there's fiberglass uh, cloth, which is what this is, that you have to cut out. Whatever you do, um, if you're doing this, do not get fiberglass mat, which is this. Um, or I have them backwards, I, I, I don't recall. But the fiberglass, this matte material is really bad for the outside of um, the cars. And I'll show you why over here. Because what happens is, if you use that, it's really hard to sand down. So when you see this, you see all these marks and we're gonna have to sand fill all that. Clearly there was another repair here before um, and not that good of one. Um, there was one up here too that you can see the, the mat. What that stuff is good for, it's really tough, but it's good for doing like the underside back here, um, not for the top side. Uh, but um, yeah, so we're gonna have to do some fiberglass work, a little bit of patching. Um, again, there's like small little pieces like this. We're gonna have to get some, just a little bit of Bondo, a little bit of body filler. We're not using it like some people use it. And we're gonna have to block sand everything down um, by hand. And this is where, I've, you can hear the motorcycles in the background. It's a really nice day here in Jersey. Um, but you can see where I've already started to fill in just the small pieces and have sanded this off to make it even. Um, if I zoom in real close, you can see just the small little like where there's air bubbles or whatnot. So we're gonna have to do that. Um, got a new tire for the front here. Um, you can see the rim, rim is bent. And uh, I'd like to paint this a nice Monaco orange, um, which was an original color for 1969. The original color of this car actually though, was this almost like baby yellow. And because it doesn't have the original engine in it or anything like that, um, I felt no real need to keep the color original either. Uh, this is certainly not any kind of, you know, restoration candidate or something like that. Um, the other thing we'll do, we'll get some LEDs in the dashboards here, kind of brighten that up. Maybe look at some LED tail lights, maybe get some LED halo, uh, uh, lights for the front. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this project going and having you all come along.